Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so today is step three in the process of making the um, uh, envelope journal. So we've done the made the cover. We've shown I've done a video showing how I um, put the envelopes together, and now um, I'm going to do a video showing how to put the signatures in. So. So it's got three signatures. This is the one that's already put together, waiting for me to continue with making ephemera. And so this is the one we did last time. Oh, and this is the cover. I did decide to put a little bit of uh, fabric up here, and I thought since it didn't have any embroidery, I would put a little bit of machine embroidery on there. Uh, and the spine came together really well. I didn't, I didn't actually play with it anymore. Than yesterday, and then I uh, I put in this is some Tim Holtz uh, fabric or not fabric um, cardstock. Sometimes I sew down here. This time I did not uh, bother, and then I just folded these over before I sewed all the way around. So that is the cover, and then these are this are the bits we made. I on the last one I actually took my machine and I sewed down the side just for texture, but I really don't think it needs it, and I'm not going to bother with this one. How's that? So um, the main focus of the video is to uh, show you how to put in the signatures. So I didn't, um, I'm not going to spend any time showing you how I select my pages uh, today. I think I've done that in previous videos. Um, I've got lots of uh, digital images that I'm using. Um, these are from um, Medieval Mirage. And so what I want to do is try and get a sense of how wide the widest signature can be. Like you can go as wide as the widest envelope. I, I like I don't like to go beyond that because it's protected naturally by that envelope, but you absolutely could. So I'm just going to fold up these pages and there's going to be lots of um, Lots of spots where I'm just uh, folding it over so that we get, uh, so it, it will fit. So we'll see there. Um, so the, lots of digital images, like I said. I'm using uh, some Rachel Digitals, and I'm using, uh, which is Roxy Creations. I'm using some Tracy Fox Digitals. I'm using some Chapter One. Uh, what else do I have here? Not 100% sure, but lots of different um, wonderful digital makers, and I've and I'm using some paper, like uh, authentic paper. But I tend to try and get my digitals uh, out of the way first, like folded first. So it's like seven. Isn't this gorgeous? This is the new uh, botanical uh, kit from uh, from Jar from the, um, uh, gosh, from Medieval Mirage. I absolutely love it. So this one I'm just going to do a little differently, like that. And then we've got some, whoops. Oh, this is one of Tracy's. I love that. Super pretty. And you don't have to worry about things being, uh, you know, you can always cut some of these off if they're too wide. That's quite... That's quite a generous piece, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then I'm just going to fold this in. So each one has uh, some regular paper. This could go like that, or it could go like this, um, as well as having some, a few, like I've got, maybe we'll do this this way. This is uh, straw paper, and then this is a authentic vintage page, which I think is stunning. Uh, and so this one's going to go like that. So I have 10 pages. Uh, I kind of go like planes, and then these are all digitals with florals. So what do I want? What's my first spot where I want to put? I want to put my first one in here, I think. Yeah, in here, sorry. And so I want to go in, whoops, wait now, I want to go 
one in here, one in here, and one in here. Okay, so the first one's going to go between the two long envelopes. So those are the colors I'm looking at. So I think that is going to stick out a little too far. Let's see if my cutter is handy. So I'm just going to take that and not to worry, whatever I cut off will be repurposed. So we'll set this aside. Um, and it's going to stick out a little bit, but there's still that bit there. So I like that. Floral, floral. Um, okay, so these look pretty together too. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to set this one first. Um, and then I'm going to put this one in like that. And oops, I want to put this gorgeous paper here. And so I'll I'll get as much done as I can. So as long as I can get one signature sewn in, then we're we're ahead of the game. That's my thought anyway. And we'll put that in there. And I'll put this. This is the straw paper. And I think this would be beautiful next to the straw paper. And let's see, we're going to put this paper here, that there, and then I'll put this in last. Okay, so that's going to be our signature. Now, what I might want to do is pull up one of these digitals so that we see some real pretty paper on top of that plain paper. Easier said than done. Shouldn't be easier said than done, but there you go. Oops, there we go. Pull this back. My paper is not cooperating with me at the moment. So, let's just grab that. There we go. I think that's better. There, so now we see some different colors at the top. So this is going to go in here. So the first thing I want to do, i got to grab my got little tiny scissors here, grab my... Um, Paper clips. Oh my goodness. It's on the move again. Whenever that sort of thing happens, we always say Aslan is on the move. So there we go. Okay. Little Narnia reference. So I am going to uh, clip all four sides. And There we go. So we're in there. Looks nice from the back. Great. So what we need to do is we need to put it in and be mindful of where the um, where we are in the signature. So I hope this is going to translate okay on camera. Um, anyway, we'll we'll see. So I'm just gonna. Transfer that to on top of the envelope. I just I just attach it to one side. This one I'm not worried about attaching that. See how it's attached now to the envelope? Okay. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to grab my needle and thread, and I'm just going to grab a oops, grab a length and cut it. Okay. So what I want to do is to keep my envelopes in the order that they are. And I can see, can you see that's the crease right there? Uh, and so this is, this is the first tab right there. So I actually, 
I have to try and think about, it's about an inch and a bit down from the top and attempt, yeah that's going to come through. So you can see it's an inch and a bit and I'm hitting the tab and then I know that if I go like half an inch from there I'm going to hit the tab. There we go. Great. And then in the middle, I'm just measuring I'm in my mind, one, two, if I go two inches and I'm literally just guessing it, you could absolutely measure. I hope I'm going to hit it, but I figure if I don't, it's not the end of the world. There we go. So I went two inches from that last hole because that's where the tab is. And then I'm going to go another roughly half inch or so, a little more than half an inch. And see, I'm there. It is, you're playing with fire, but it's okay. So one, two. So if I do two inches again, roughly, I should be okay, I think. Look at that, right there. And then if I go about the same distance, then I will be in that tab. There you go. I know. It's not easy to watch, <laughs> but it's all good. So I'm going to go up the center and then I'm just going to go down this hole. It's quite an easy closure, to be honest with you. Um, and then I'm just going to take that and Just going to um, tie it tight. Get my finger on top. And I'm doing this, my glasses are shifting. And yes, it has moved a little bit, but that's okay. We're not worried. It's that we're just trying to get it so that the signature is going to stay in place. So we go in here, in that one. I actually find that if I cut it, I do a better job. So, just want to do like a double knot. And there we go. And then we cut it. And then I'll do the third one. Just like that. And I like to take it through where there are three rather than just two. I just find that that is going to give me just a little bit more security. Okay, let me just put this through again. Sometimes your papers shift a little bit or you're at a weird, weird angle. That would never happen to me. Of course it would. <laughs> I film at a weird angle. All right, I'll cut that off. And then we're just going to sew that or tie that off on those little tabs. And there you go. So that is one in, and we should be able to get, we may be able to get another one in while we're, while we're at it. So this is the front of that, and you can see it's in there really good and secure, really good and secure. Um, so there's our first one. And you can see where, where I've sewn. Okay, let's do, where's the next one going to be? Between those two. All right, so let me fold some papers. This is the, the second signature. It's just fun to do different widths of folds sometimes. Um, I was going to fold these ahead of time, but then I thought, no, you probably want 
want to see what I'm up to. So, I'm not sure I'm going to use that one. Um, yeah, I like that there. And if it gets too thick, we can go back and actually cut off some of these bits that we folded off, folded as well. Okay, I'm going to fold this one in. Isn't that beautiful? And then we've got our paper. Just something different. Tracy's paper. This is some rag paper. This is also some very old, old paper. Just gonna fold it on itself. And then I thought it might be fun to put one of these beautiful papers in. And I think I want to go like this. Okay, so this is our where we're going and that yep that will cover it so i'm not going to put that on the front i'm just going to choose the paper i want on the front and oh here's my interior paper okay that's pretty um i think no you know what i think i might want to use this one on the front so we'll put that one first, and then maybe this one second, I like that. Um, then I think I'll put this pretty floral. Uh, what, no, I want to use up some of these beautiful digitals. Oh, here, this is lovely. Use that one next. And this one you can turn it that way and then we can have this beautiful page like this so I think we're one less than the last one and that's fine and then this is the center page and I'm happy with how that all looks Terrific. So, once again, I'm going to want to put my papers there. There's a train going by nearby. Every now and again, one goes by and it's really, really loud. But it seems to be the case today. All right. Like so. And then we want it in here. And I want it on that, in, um, tied into those three. So I think what I'll do is I will, I will um, take my clips and clip it to this. I think that was the straw paper bag that we covered, or that I covered for the journal. So let me see. Now you can see that, oh, there's my needle. Um, it's right here on those three. All right, so the first one is about an inch and a quarter from the top. I think I have enough here for just doing one, one, um, of these. Is that about right? Sorry, I'm just going to move it over a little tiny bit to get more in the center. Yeah, about one and a quarter. I feel like this will be... Oh, I don't want to do it with my needle. Um, yeah. There we go. So you can see I've come up. And then I'm going to just go not quite, not super wide with it. And so that's where I'll do that one and then this second one is how far from here one inch two and a touch one inch two and a touch 
There we go. And then once again, I don't want to go too far. You can see the. So this one is from that one, one inch, two inch. One inch, two inch. So I'm gonna. Oops. This is this one's an awkward angle. There we are, right at the bottom. But that's okay. We caught it. And then I'm gonna just. There we go. So it's like I said, it's not for the faint of heart, but it's it's not hard to do. If you're nervous, then by all means measure it out and then you won't be disappointed. Um, that is clearly not wanting to cooperate. So it was just kind of a seat of the pants kind of thing I wanted to try. There we go. Let's pull that out. Okay. And one. I wish I had had these all folded up beforehand. That might have made it a little bit easier. So, just put some of in my my needle. I had to uh, cut my nails today. The girls, <laughs> my granddaughters told me on the weekend uh, that um, my nails were so long they were going to take over the house. So there is an image. So I just come up here and come down here. There we go. So I said, okay, I guess it's time. To cut nails. All right. And I like, I use the um, binding kit that I get, you get from Amazon. If you search for binding kit on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. There's a number that you can choose from. Uh, they're all different versions of the same kit, I would say. Um, but good quality and very, very useful to have. Okay, I was pretty sure that one was going to do that. Okay. That lets me see the angle I'm coming in on. There we go. I hope this isn't super boring, guys. What can I say? And I hope you're all well. We're doing great. Um, young William is doing much better now that he's been on some medicine for his year. Oh my gosh, it was just adorable though. He was, I mean, you don't want to see them ill, but he was just very quiet. He wasn't like uh, screaming or uncomfortable in that kind of way, but he was constantly like just snuggling. And I mean, how can that be bad? So that's our second signature in. You can see how it just gives a little in the back here because we, we made a few spots a little bit wider. Let's try. Now, if this cuts out while I'm going through the process with this, I do apologize, but I'm going to try and get this done um, on video, this last signature. So let's go for it. I'm going to go fast. <laughs> I'm going to try and go fast. How's that? love this paper, this Rachel paper. And I think I'll bother with that page this time. I love this, these old vintage papers. I think I have some from Rachel and I have some from um, Sharon Hearth and they're all beautiful. 
Uh, so, absolutely beautiful. Okay. Gorgeous Tracy paper, isn't it gorgeous? Love it. And I'm gonna put that in that way a little bit. And then this one is some vintage or rag paper. And then this one is some more. I'm gonna do it this way. Okay. Let's have a look. We want to put it in this back one, okay. So we could use that one. These colors look gorgeous together. And we've got the bag at the back. We've got this one that also looks nice. And yeah, I think I'm going to go with the blue one as the first page. So let's go with that. So I gotta make up my mind fast because we're we're moving. We're moving. So we've got this paper and then we'll put this one down here. Is that the right side? Wow, here we go. We'll put it up there towards the top. I'm sorry, but if you haven't been able to see the whole time, that would be pretty pretty bad. And then here, now I'm going to set that in the, towards the top. Just want to make sure that I catch it. And that one, and then we'll do this one in the center. Okay. How are we? I think we're good. Do I want to pull something up for some more color? I think I'll pull this one up towards the top. There we go. So we get... Oh, okay, we're going to be masked by this one. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm just going to put my four clips on. Let's hope we, we actually are able to finish. If not, it's fine, right? So this is in the last one, and we're going to see it right in here. You can see it there. So I want to clip this to the envelope there. Push it in and clip it. And push this in and clip it. So now I'm going to see how am I positioned. This needs to come down a little bit more, so now you can see the fold. Perfect. All right. Let's let's go. That's here. Let's see. That's about an inch and a half. There we go. This could be the worst video in history. We just don't know. One inch, two. A little more than two inches. There we go. And then a half. Okay, and then it's one, two. Oh, right on the end. Right, right on the end. That's okay. It'll still catch it. And then there. Okay. So, I hope you guys give it a whirl. I mean, it's, they're not hard to do. They're just, like I said, um, you got to be a little bit brave with your judging. And of course, I'm probably doing it a little quicker than I n might otherwise do. But I'll be honest, I did not measure with the last one either. So we're good. I see we're at 29 minutes. This often kicks out at 30. So I do apologize. If I kick out, thank you for joining me. Um, and if I don't, 
Thank you for joining me. Okay. Of course, I'm going to have to reload that, aren't I? And tie this. like a bunny, put some more thread on. I used to be able to join a couple of videos together, but now my my um, editing software takes, it says like 18 hours, and I just don't think that's a good use of, ener of um, electricity. So, yeah. So, I'll just some of that. One more guys, just one more. There we go. And then back through here. There we go. Woohoo! And cut that off. I hope we're still going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm fucked butterfingers. Oh my goodness. So I will, before we make, uh, or I will, yeah, next, before we do uh, my next video in this series, I will definitely have already put the eyelets in and the elastic you've seen. Um, You've seen people do that before, so you don't need to spend time watching that. I wanted the blue because I like that blue there. And look at this. She's all done. Like she's got the pages in. And I, I always go back and, and smooth the pages down. So that's the first signature there. And then we fold another one, and then we have another signature here. And we've got a bag, and then we've got this lovely plastic bag, and then we have our last signature, all sewn into the threes. And um, it's as simple as that. <laughs> it's complicated and as simple as that. So she will, her home will be in here. The green really looks pretty, doesn't it, with it? So, like I said, I'll have the eyelet, eyelets in, and she'll be able to take up residency here and then we can start the um, the decorating and whatnot. So I love that. She's got lots of extra space here on the edges so that we might have fabrics and things and tabs hanging out, but super fun. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me and like I said, I, I hope this didn't cut out and I will see you next time. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.